All right. Uh, moving on. Well, they sleep. Let's just uh, use the opportunity to. Mm, no. Okay, that's what I want to check out. It actually, I, I took a, a quick look at the the save name. It's named Marlon or yeah, Marlon Nation. I haven't named the thing yet. I think that's what's gonna suggest me. Let me, yeah, the faith. On the savage forest moon, Riddell, there was a chancel of faith in Breaker Bracer Bust's pantheon, where the god of life would bless those of pure flesh. Pure flesh. Then the Deep Corp executive came. His Deep Corp forces killed many worshippers of Bracer Bust with assault rifles. A renowned trophy hunter named Combo, Combo Ahosko brought Breaker Bracer Sir Bustists together and even recruited some of the Deep Corp forces. Hosgo sacrificed herself to personally kill the Deep Corp executive. So basically, uh, it's always uh, uh, the purists are always against, are always moving against some sort of a, or at least the, the two the two background stories we had. They are moving against uh, some sort of a corporate uh, corporate initiative, or the corporate initiative is moving against them by sending by sending soldiers or marines or whatever okay yeah so and there's always a god of life a giver of life in the middle of it that somehow serves as as, as the center the gravitational center of uh, of their principles fine okay um let me see so we have bracerbus god of life skukabri Spirit of Creation, Goabri, uh, Goddess of Life, Bytrozox, or Bytrozox, I don't know how to pronounce that, Goddess of Life, okay, so two god, a god and a goddess of life, a spirit of creation and a go another goddess of life, fine, yeah, basically it's, it's the way it randomizes stuff, fine, so, yeah, the same thing, we, that we didn't really mess around with it, it might change as, as things change around, so... Bro's Divine Chief, a leader who holds the group together and represents your faction in diplomatic interactions. Okay. And then the Purifier, moral spiritual leader who heads rituals and uh, personally counsels believers. This role becomes active when your faction has three Bracer Burbists or Bustists. Becomes inactive when your faction has one bracer brother, bracer bustist. Okay. Uh, convert council, reassure conversion ritual, preach health. Okay. Bracer bustist. Okay. It has to use a hood. <laughs> okay. Raised by two levels. I wonder if I don't have a hood, if I can have the guy or not, or if it receives, because you have to fabricate, I think, Rose Senitoinor. A special ideological status focusing on medicine to the exclusion of all else. Improved surgery, attaining efficiency. Yeah, so basically this is the doctor type. Um, you have the leader, the moral guide, and the doctor. The healer. Uh, and then the funeral drum party, pure fair. This increased morale. Okay, ritual seat, chancel of faith, the building's chancel of faith, shape of life. Okay. The seal collar is a revolver, man. Nation pattern double action revolver. Very okay, it's not very powerful, but it has a decent range for a pistol and it's quick in the draw. Okay, and uh, Grace Zeus Hammer Persona Zeus Hammer. Okay, makes a lot of sense to me. All right, so then we have the free doctrine. 
Interesting. It's descend they're, they're descendant from Christians. Ow. Sorry. While I, I do this, I'm also petting my, 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 my bird. Is actually asking me to pet him. But sometimes it just goes crazy when I start petting him. And, and uh, now he's pissed. So he wants to, to beat my, my finger. Uh, anyway, every man and woman personally, she was unique, precious artwork by her divine hand. Each and every one of you is a unique and holy being formed in my image. God's will sustain the life of mankind against the void. Cool. Understand differently. Thank you. You know, this is more Christian than Christianity nowadays, man. <laughs> oh, man. Free and approved. Okay, yeah. Oh. Christ's Pontiff, Open Abbot. Okay, I'm not gonna look through all of them. I'm gonna look because if I do, we will never leave the screen here. I just want to see. I wanted to. It is as I said. The the idea of this long play is to indulge in the lore, the background, and whatever the, the game throws at us, and, and try to toy around with the story that the game is trying to create. But I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go towards the, the knowledge of the things that are, the things and communities that are closer to us, because if, if I don't, I, we will never actually play the game. I'll be hostile, wow, they're hostile to me. Got Obel, okay. This should be interesting. Black Prairie, Black Prairie, uh, a Toxic Covenant. Okay. So the foils. So we have two Thabi factions here. Then Toxus. Then Belowen. And whatever. Carcisa. Okay. Another Toxus. So the yellows are Toxus Covenant. These green one, the, the green ones are Thabi. Then we have Fur of Oria Bark, Fur of Oria Bark. And orange ones what are these? Basculo Coalition. Interesting. All right. Let's see who are our adversaries. The Thabi. Here it is. Fierce Neanderthal tribe. Okay. An unfriendly territorial tribe of Neanderthals. They are open to peaceful trade, but are otherwise unfriendly and territorial. Warriors from their tribe won't hesitate to bash in the skulls of anyone they deem dangerous. Their numbers and, and the extreme amount of damage they absorb before falling make them serious foes, despite their lack of technology and analytical ability. Interesting, so the community actually has a, a, a tribe of Neanderthals around. I'm, I, I have a feeling that I'm not going to survive too long in this game, but uh, sounds fun. Anyway, having been on this planet for countless generations, they have no memory of how they got here. They might be able to be the descendants of the Neanderthal service cast from a dead civilization or even leftovers from some ancient science experiment. Yeah, Neanderthals are an interesting addition to this game. If only because... Let me zoom in. Can, can I zoom in? No, I can't. I can't form a caravan. Fine, so... Uh, Neanderthals are an interesting addition because uh, first, around four to four point five percent of the world population nowadays, it's estimated, of course, might have uh, Neanderthal genes uh, within their bodies. Uh, Neanderthals actually actually crossed with humans back in the day, back when they existed, when they when there were Neanderthal communities. And this is actually associated, that, I mean, this is basically uh, research theories and, and it's basically speculation so far. There's, there's a lot uh, yet to be viewed and, 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 and studied, but uh, yeah, 
I would say that let's just let them just finish what I told them to do and start planning and then we'll move on. And in the meantime we're gonna talk and watch they do this, their stuff. I'm gonna prepare some traps as well around the, the camp because I basically don't trust the animals in this area or the Neanderthals, so yeah. Uh, it seems that uh, we might have, have preserved Neanderthal blood, Neanderthal genes. Oh, I need steel to do this. And uh, Okay, we have a steel. <laughs> it's provided. Fine, let's mine this. And uh, let me just give the order. No, no, no. I this this should actually be deconstructed. Is that it? I have to clean first, I think. Yeah, clean. Let's clean. Let's clean all this. And. Uh, Let's deconstruct these areas here. And um, so it's not so far fetched to have Neanderthals. I I'm just curious because I read I read when I read the description of the Neanderthals before. I do think they actually placed the Neanderthals as a more brutish uh, uh, species. Well, I don't know how they, oops, how they would fare on a modern society or, on, or in a modern world, but uh, back in the day, Neanderthals were actually more evolved than we were, than humans were. I mean, they had, um, how much did I got? 39, maybe 80. Okay, let's try and find out more walls around here. More steel walls. Yes, we have more steel walls. Um, Neanderthals actually had. Uh, okay, while we were while we were struggling, still struggling to survive, Neanderthals actually had. No, 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 no don't fix it. Um, Neanderthals actually had developed. Uh, Healing techniques, they had developed um, rudimentary tools, they had developed some sort of rudimentary herbalism. So they were actually very advanced for their for, for the age they lived in. And assumedly they went they went extinct because they didn't they didn't have the same uh, adaptive capabilities that human beings have or had. Um, there are there's a theory that says that their leg articulations uh, were less uh, less adaptable, less capable, so they couldn't really move. Uh, they couldn't really move too far. So yeah, by the time that uh, they, they they had to face an ice age, they couldn't leave the valleys that they inhabited, so they just died. So I don't know how faithful to these theories is the game. I don't think, I, I, I guess not much. But I also don't really know if we want it to be, you know, if we want these theories to be so. Because they are just theories in the end. I mean... And besides, I don't know, there was this old comic book, I don't remember the name, I actually have to go through my comic books back again and then dust them off. And uh, It was a, a comic book, a, a six, six volume issue, it was a miniseries. And uh, it actually portrayed a surviving Neanderthal, saying that Neanderthals were actually a, 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 an uber technologic uh, society and stuff like that, and that it was really, really interesting. Cause, he was very, very advanced, you know. Okay, let's cook simple meals. Um, I don't know if I have... I don't even think we have ingredients to do that. But... I'm gonna leave the bill right here anyway. Right. And, uh, yeah. Now let's start. Okay, so they actually started planting. We have rice. We have some hay grass. Great. You're gonna need hay grass to these bad boys here. 
Alright, um, I might need more hangrass. So I'm gonna rezone this. Rezone. Um, I'm gonna build another zone around here for hangrass. I don't want to go overboard with this because first I have to feed five mouths here. Second, I can't really hog their, their work so much that, uh, okay, we have milk. It's pause in 14 days, okay. Just use the milk, please. Uh, what? Limestone, we have a panther there. Let's let's start just putting down some, some traps as well around the camp. Security. Five spikes under tension, connected to a touch, activated trigger. When the victim disturbs the trigger, the spikes spring forth and strike the victim. Since it's hidden in the surrounding terrain, it cannot be placed adjacent to another trap. Animals can sense these when calm, okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's. Then let's. Spend a buttload of wood. This is very inefficient anyway. The way that I'm spreading them around, I actually should create. Yeah, anyway. I'm gonna I'm gonna spend some wood here. And uh can I put down sandbags? I don't know if I have I, I don't have cloth. I'm gonna have to hunt some animals and use their, their leather to, to put down the traps, you know. So yeah, visitors having them visit calling. Jump to location. So we have Hubbard and Paolo. Okay, Paolo. Uh, it's Portuguese. Or Spanish. Because of the U in the middle. Barely says assume. <clears throat> so I love looking at the bios of the characters that enter the, the, the train. 13 years old. Oh, look at that. Teenage villager. So and you're leading the troop apparently come child. Excellent put Hubber in a coma. He didn't take he didn't wake up until he was in his late teens. You're not in your late teens. So what do you consider late teens in your culture, man? His body never recovered from the years of inactivity, but people tend to take pity on him. When he... So basically, you just woke up, they took pity on you, Henry, Henry Hubber. Henry Hubber, I like that name, like uh, Henry Holler, for example. Or, Herb, or, or uh, um, Hermann Hesse, yeah, one of my favorite authors, actually. And Henry Holler is one of my favorite characters of all time. Steppenwolf. <clears throat> so yeah. So basically you have a teen Steppenwolf here. And uh, okay. Yeah, fine by me. He just woke up, I guess they pitied the kid and said, uh, okay, just go just go lead uh, uh, an expedition to towards the towards that um, that uh, refugee tribe of white faced white painted uh, white paint, uh, uh, the, the, the white painted faces <laughs> that we have there. That it doesn't even have a freaking name. Very interesting. Staggeringly ugly. His <laughs> face looks like a cross between the drawing by an untalented child, a malformed fetus, and the jar of formaldehyde. Okay, and a piece of modern art. Okay, that's uh, that's so offensive in so many levels. Others must exert conscious effort to look at him while conversing. Body purist. Okay, he's one of us. He's a body purist. Uh, believes that human body is limited for reason. To him, artificial body parts and xenogenes are unethical and disgusting. I wonder if uh, 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 the the the, the um, that's soaps by the way in the back. Um, the uh, other fell blood. Uh, counts as, as, as Xenogene. I think it does. I mean, it's a 
baseline, of course, very neurotic. <laughs> Herbert feels constantly nervous about everything that has to get done. He will work extremely hard to attain this state of, this state of affairs, but this, his nerves can easily get the better of him. I like the balance that he struck here, very neurotic. I, uh, I myself have been, I have just finished treatment for uh, a mal-resolved neurotic complex. And many people nowadays have it. I, I actually mentioned this some other, in some other video. Global work speed plus 40%. Yeah, that's accurate. <laughs> and mental break threshold plus 14%. I don't know the person, the exact percentage, but uh, it does get... Uh, it does get uh, um, get the better of us, I'd say. Okay, social five. He's actually very sociable. Okay, it's kind of like the person that wants to be liked. Apparently, free doctrine. Okay, we we, we took a look at the free doctrine. Uh, I'm gonna say free doctrine. I like it. Um, and Hadunun, civil outlander union. Okay, so it's one of those. Right, okay, cool. And Paolo. Talk to me, Paolo. Dreaded baby. <laughs> There's a baby in a crashed spacecraft. Okay, he's Superman. According to the ship's records, he invented the nuclear the nuclear device that powered his ship. What? Apparently he also invented the sky and the hamburger. And is said to have fathered a race of tasty golden kid What the crap? I mean, we are entering, now we are entering Douglas Adams' turf here. It's not possible, okay? Okay, yeah, I like this kind of writing. Some followers say that, say that Paolo uh, and his crew of misfits found the Fountain of Youth many, many centuries ago. And that they caused the extinction of the dinosaurs on many planets. There's even a religion about them somewhere involving noodles and meatballs. Oh. Yeah, this is a... Uh... This is... Douglas Adams' turf. Definitely. And, and, more, and, and the interesting part is that what does it have to do with the bonuses he receives? I mean, it's cool. I mean, it's really cool. But, uh, Jesus, mother of God. <whistles> Pessimist tends to look on the bad side of life. Okay, I can relate to that. Kind, exceptionally agreeable and given given person. He rarely insults others and will sometimes offer kind words to brighten moods of those around him. He also never judges people by their appearance. His agreeableness also makes him more likely to conform to prevailing, prevailing sorry, opinions. Okay, wimp. <laughs> Weak and cowardly. Pain shock threshold. Loss factor. Pain scarification. Overrides pain and scarification. Okay, delicate. So he has damage multiplier. He he suffers more with pain. Global certainty loss factor is doubled. Oh my god! Look at this cleaning caused by backstory dreaded dude. Disabled work types cleaner. So he doesn't clean because he, he somehow invented the spaghetti monster or religion or something. He doesn't clean. He, he doesn't clean. And he killed dinosaurs and stuff. Okay, basically, dreaded baby and dreaded dude is, is to say that they have this, these these out of this world stories about the guy, the person. So yeah, I kind of understand now where they, what they are going for here. The guy's kind of like a living legend or something. Designed to be engineers, genies have natural aptitude with machines and are emotionally cold and calm. Uh, they are also fragile and vulnerable to pain. Focus on machines; they often come off as socially inept. And uh, and Hadnum chose this guy to go along with with Hubbard. So Hubbard just woke up. He's a teenager. He's inexperienced in everything. I at rarely say assume he just woke up. I mean, he's entering his late teens at best. 
um, <laughs> he he is a purist, and they send and they send someone that has a different xenotype of him, of him that can fight, and that will not do. Well, he won't do clean, but uh, it's not that he can't fight. It's more that uh, he is not. He doesn't hold a, a fighting aptitude. I mean, not the smartest of choices. But who am I to judge? I mean, I'm just gonna, yeah, come near, just, just, just come around and uh, just don't step in any of my traps, please. I don't know if if these guys, if they step, they step. It's, it would be screwed up. Okay, look at this. We have still have wood here, deteriorating in the middle of no nowhere, and and, and and we're already cutting trees down and. Uh, yeah, they didn't step on my traps. Good. Okay. So, what I want to do now is... Um, she's age 14, okay. Uh, 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 let me see my own pawns here. Intellectual, social, high social. No one. Cool. No labor, bloodless, bookworm, hunter, firekeeper, underground, lazy, ugly, masochist. Oh, come to think of it, I have, what, two teenagers here? Yes. I have, yeah, I have people in their 40s and two teenagers. Yeah, the old, the elder, so to speak, is, is Porcupine Gala, Galakai. Which is a cool name, by the way. Benza Goshawk. Or Ghost Hawk, I don't know how to pronounce that. Ibis Biduero. Okay. Uh, Rebobor. Rebobor is a cool name. <laughs> Rebobor. <laughs> Action here. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know. It, it just remind me, it reminds me of uh, B action movies. Like those things from Red Brown. Not because Red Rebo. But, uh, like Ross Delgado, or Snake Plissken, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Rebo Boar, that's why it reminds me, probably because of Snake Plissken. Alright, um, mm -mm -mm -mm. I need someone to go talk, okay, you, you Goshawk, you, you, you go talk to Herbert. Let's go trade, let's see if... Survival meal, com meal component, medicine. Medicine is interesting. I, I can actually fabricate more if I, if I apply myself to that. Reinforced barrel. But I'm going to get some medicine to start with. I really don't have too much silver, though. Two? They have three to sell. Let's get two. Just so we... Just in case we need it. And uh, now that I remind, reminded me that this might be an issue, let's see if I have anything to harvest that uh, would uh, help me get... Maybe I should get three medicine boxes. Razor wire. Okay. Because I don't see... I, oh! Anima tree. A rare tree with warm skin smooth bark. Skin smooth bark. That's already bizarre. And long iridescent leaves infused with bioluminescent microorganisms. Anima trees develop a unique form of psychic symbiosis with surrounding life forms, allowing them to grow in, in a wide variety of biomes. Uh, kind of like... Uh, there are several sci-fi movies and books that work around this concept. The, the closer one that I can think of uh, nowadays is this Avatar or something like that. If a person psychast or not meditates near an anima tree, it will grow anima grass around its base. Once enough grass is grown, it becomes possible to carry out a psychic linking ritual with the tree and upgrade a person's psychic powers. Only tribal peoples know the secret of this ritual. Tribal psychasters are also able to draw psyfocus sci from anima trees while meditating to them. Anima trees, the psychic properties, are weakened in if artificial structures are placed nearby. 
they refuse to be caged or studied and must remain part of nature because of course that's, that's an interesting trade-off here you have to leave them on the uh, out in the wilds if you want to use the, the power but of course it's going to produce risk and I, I i don't know i never did this and i'm gonna try this i have to try this most tribes believe that animal trees are not simply trees but are rather physical extremities of a single world spirit this is so cool yeah this is basically avatar <laughs> ah yes i'm i gotta try this let me see someone that uh fast learner i think i'm gonna send ebay's there to meditate intellectual 11 yeah i'm gonna send ibis to meditate here just to see what happens but i don't know if this, this won't sit 20 animal grass here no i don't really wanna i can't just send him to prioritize meditation i think i gotta schedule it let's see let's get the sunset for him to meditate like this okay meditation spot i'll give you a meditation spot radius warning begin on tree linking i'm not gonna chop the tree come on so let me orders zone i think it's ideology right ritual no there, there's there's a way i remember seeing it's in zone no miscellaneous meditation spot there it is i'm gonna establish four meditation spots and he did not meditate uh, he did not he how, how did how did it go he did not sit at north nor at south nor at west but at east of the tree and he did not face north or south or west, but east. And he starts to meditate. He started to meditate. <sighs> yeah. And then the demons came towards him, trying to scare him. But he was not afraid. And then they turned into luscious demons of desire. And they tried to seduce him. But he could not be swayed. And then those, as a last movement... Ah, damn it, sorry just pull that on the cord of my headset here and as a last resort and when the demons advanced against him I, th I think it went kind of went like this when the demons came around and against him uh, he was levitating already and then he touches the floor and then everything comes crumbling down and the demons are defeated that's uh, I I don't remember why I read this. This is basically the story of Buddha. And yeah, oh, it's I actually pulled my keyboard card. <laughs> Got my foot stuck there. I have to improv, and I have cables all over my lap now. Um, yeah. Talk about transhuman. All right. Um, da, 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 da. Okay, let's see. So we have a meditation spot now. Yeah, basically, what's gonna happen is that apparently, it's, what's gonna happen is that I'm gonna gonna set some set apart some time for this guy to meditate here. And let's let's put a caravan hitching spot as well. And he's gonna. put this in the shadows okay uh, did they leave already gift from Haddon outliners from Haddon oh they left medicine cool <laughs> let's just get call shock uh, prioritize pickup go pick up so what are you doing are you eating the medicine oh look at this yeah we already have some here that's good guys don't leave things on unroofed zones it's just guys guys come on 
I mean, come on. Okay. How's the hunger here? Uh, okay. For now, you don't need food. I, I actually needed to... I need the... Yeah, we need to work on this as well. Uh, orders. Let's haul some stuff. From here. From the areas, from the blinding areas. Tribal communities, for the most part, at the very least, the Latin American ones won't um, plant on uniform land because that that brings about the tendency of animals to just eat everything up. Let's see, Rebo, what my action here? What uh, underground 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 altar? Uh, like being that side, I want to get back to the underground. Okay, disrupted sleep. I was disturbed during sleep by people moving around nearby. Slept on the ground, long outdoors, minor pain. Minor pain? Okay. Malnourished. It's been long since I ate. Hey! Uh, wow, they, there's actually no food left. Okay, guys, so let's harvest. Come on. I mean, what are you prioritizing after all? The rice isn't ripe, of course. But uh, you can prioritize this. Like, uh, what are you doing, really? Well, the pemmicans really went fast. So, yeah, let's harvest, let's harvest, let's, let's go. Can't believe I'm gonna starve my boys. Come on, we have, we have... We can hunt as well. So, okay, I'm not going to have to mess around with the schedule. So, harvest. I think they are prioritizing the hauling now. But it won't do us good if we cannot. Okay, uh, who's our hunter? You are our hunter. So let's schedule some hunt. Okay, recreation, anything, work. But yeah, this this doesn't really do me any good. You go hunt something. Preferably something that dies easily. Oh man, I don't think they will survive. I actually should have bought food. I didn't realize we were so low on food already. We have no pemmicans left. No pemmicans. Sheesh. Okay. And the rice isn't growing as of yet. Mad rat. Okay. Yeah. Jump to location. Okay, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna draft you. Where's the rat again? Shoot the rat, please. Oh yeah, I have to move forward. Otherwise, yeah, yeah, you run, Gray. Run, run, run for your life. Okay, thank you. You're probably the worst hunter ever. Keep running, Gray. Keep running. You know, let me draft you. Run up. Yeah, don't go back into towards the rat, come on. Right. Yes! Fantastic. Okay, now let's finish the hunt. Since I, I have drafted you already, let's undraft. Gray, and you. Let's let's use you to 
hunt. I'm not, yeah, drafting to hunt is not the best idea. But let's put you babies. Okay, child care. Fire patient and cook hunt. Yeah, let's see if he hunts around. He's actually going to meditate around the tree. Let me just uh, remove this from his schedule. One hour a day is fine. I actually shouldn't have him meditating while I have a major food crisis rolling around. Uh, <laughs> no food. Literally no food. I forgot that I have five people. Probably they won't survive for long, but if they don't, we'll just restart. Right. I mean, did you get did you get the dead red? You shouldn't give me too much. Okay, yeah, 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 they got some food. They are harvesting some stuff, aren't they? No, they are just cutting down everything. No, yeah, they did manage to eat a little bit. Good. One of them at least managed to eat. Okay, you're meditating. Let's see. I think you you guys are still malnourished. Badly malnourished, yeah. Still no not enough food for everyone. Ravenously hungry. Yeah. The others are just ravenously ravenously hungry. Well, I, I, I told you to harvest around. Okay, let me just, what are these? No, 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 you're not gonna hunt wild boars. I'm gonna command you to hunt some stuff. Tortoise. <laughs> Something killed the tortoise. Oh, God. Okay, to hunt the tortoise. Um, not gonna kill my animals. What do we have here? There's a snake. Okay, hunt the snake. Let's try and hunt and uh, allow, yeah, this rot. Rat, it gets rotting. So there's another thing that we should do. Should actually put a zone, a dumping stockpile zone here somewhere. Uh, I'm gonna put this around here. Okay, and yeah, we have a cassowary. Hunt it down as well. Let's go. You have your tasks, guys. So. Personally, I wouldn't take too long to just do the stuff in order to get food. I mean, it's on you now. Shouldn't have told them to do so much building and cutting at the beginning. I guess. Are my beasts? Are they nourished? The orange brook of there. See, since it looks like you'll be here for a while, gosh, okay, yet maybe not for a while. Thinks it should give you a faction name. Orange Brook of Darcy. Shock also thinks that you should give a settlement name. Orange Brook of Darcy, no, no. No, 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 no. This is not a good name for a tribe. Good name for a tribe. Um. Yeah, okay. Shosma's an awful name. I'm gonna call this land Lyric, just because that's it. <laughs> it's a 
protecting after being harmed. Okay. <laughs> Gay porcupine. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Let's get you. Draft you. Come here. Try to save her. Doofus. Come on, porcupine draft. Nah, let's just bring her straight because. Ah, oh, God. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I thought the beast might be too sturdy to hunt down. But then, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Slow down. Jesus, mother of God. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Ah, uh, right. Now two shooters. Keep running. Keep running. Okay. Ah, oh, come on, Ebis. God, Jesus Christ, Ebis. Is this beast made of? You see how's the health? I'm sorry, but I need your meat. in here <laughs> okay shoot again go shoot porcupine shoot shoot woman okay yeah these guys are not gonna survive long okay done Finally, undrafts. Uh, tame. No, I'm not gonna tame this. I cannot possibly. And still alive, so keep shooting. Guys, for love of God, it's it's down. How hard can it be, guys? Seriously? Look, just look at this. Okay, group of travelers from Hadnan. You might be our salvation after all. I don't know if I can trade with anyone. No, I guess they're just passing by. They won't let me trade with them. of God, it's right there, guys. Right there, right. It's, it's. Let me make it easier for you. Yes, thank you. Now, undrafted. Please, just, just get the meat. Someone prioritize getting the meat out there, please. Get, um... Or consume it raw. I don't care if you're gonna be unhappy. Cannot we'll never do hauling, okay. Can you haul? Guys, for the love of God. Yes, Jeff, thank you. Thank you. 
three of you are starving. I give you a dead beast and you won't haul the beast back? Come on. <laughs> it's blood everywhere. It's, please tell me that someone treated his wounds. Look, guys, he's still bleeding. Rebo. Rebo can do it. So. Oh my god. Uh, uh, doctoring, 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 doctor. So the only one doctoring is Porcupine. Guys. Uh, okay, Gray. You're on. Go tend to him. Where are you go? Porcupine, really? They are throwing away the... Oh my god, let me see. No, and, and that's the interesting part. The... Oh, I have to put a bill here. I forgot. Butcher. As long as it takes, as much as it takes. So I was actually count counting that they would butcher the creatures. Now, let's see if any... My god, tribal... They actually start with every every sort of work kind of fumbled? Or, or am I not paying attention? I mean, of course, it, it, it actually flew by. But there are things that on the other game starts, they were actually automatic. And, and then here, no, just no. Grow, mine, plant, tailor, craft, haul, clean, search... Well, just graze growing, for example. You see? I need all hands on deck, man. So, porcupine. You're still dropping it here. Fantastic. Thank you, porcupine. That's... Why are you... Fine, eat. Just eat. See if I care. You're gonna eat raw. I need you to, to save your strength. I, I... Clearly, you won't butcher the creature. So... Fine. Yeah, yummy. Right? <laughs> yeah, you're stressed now. I bet you are. <laughs> eat corpse. Yeah. That's what you get for throwing away the, the meat that I hunted. Right, who else is, is, is starving? Gray is starving? Yeah, come have a bite. That's how it goes. I mean, if you're not gonna... Yeah? That's exactly what I'm gonna do. make you do. I'm gonna have you do. Did you expect? There's blood everywhere here. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I actually thought it might end up... It probably, probably would end up like this. But uh, fine. Okay, so here we have... Yeah, they actually saw you eating raw meat. Very dignified, I would say. Uh, go ahead and consume it as well. Rebo. <laughs> he already did it. Oh, God. Yes, I am telling you. Yeah, your reverence really. You, you, you can't get up right now, so. Yeah. Mm hmm. You're also malnourished, so. Yeah. And be glad that. Alright. Consume the tortoise. Go ahead. Since you're not. Yeah, fine. Yes, now you're learning. If you won't butcher it, you eat it raw. Congratulations. Now you're getting it. Did you eat already? 
Yeah, you eat first, then I'm gonna arm you. And it's gonna be unpleasant. That much I can tell. This is how we're rolling, guys. Okay, let's zone more growing areas. Okay, right here. Like this. There's a door there that can dismantle. I'm gonna put more rice here. Hmm. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> so at the very least, I should. Uh, this should should stave away starvation. Yeah. Who needs medical treatment now? You. Um, who's assigned? Yeah, go treat porcupine because she needs it. Bad back. Degradation in the spinal column and surrounding musculature list makes it hard to move and bend smoothly. Okay, yeah, we saved the guys for now, apparently. Just uh, let's take care of our blood loss now. Because. Yeah, malnutrition trivial. Yeah, nevertheless, let's just. Uh, as a minor blood loss, let's take care of the, the bites and, and the stuff. Yeah, it's fine for now. So, let them rearrange themselves. Let's check the schedule. Well, they, they have been meditating, so let's just leave on anything. Now let them sleep. Okay. And uh, yeah, <laughs> next time let's go for for a smaller game for for smaller creatures because this was messy. I attack one more of these boars and I'm gonna have the wrath of the boars upon me. And these 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 birds, my God, they are tough. Now there's blood everywhere. Look at this. All right. So let me see now. <laughs> they did eat that. Anyway, it's. I. I think it might get better. I think it might get better. Let me just. Uh, let me pause a second or two. Recreation temperature. Yada yada yada. Let me check their 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 needs now. Yeah, recreation satisfied. You should be. Eat without tape. You ate raw meat, so slept on ground, slept in heat, long outdoors, minor pain. Yeah, considering everything, you're holding out pretty well. Like my brief, surbustic beliefs. Totemic, yeah. That's kind of the idea. Okay, that's, uh, I actually... The faith. Okay, so, okay. I'm gonna... Now, we have to clean this all, all this mess up, of course. We can tell them to harvest more, I think. Uh, okay, we have a bunch here that we can harvest. Let's get this, these, these berries here. Let's get all the berries we can get. There's more, more down here. 
Yeah, no, 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 these are just, uh, I don't want, to, don't want to mess with the alpacas now. Taming them is not something I really, really want to do. I don't even have food for my people now. Okay, I think that's it. More bushes. Are there more bushes around? Maybe, uh-huh. There's a big, big center here. Starvation again. Uh, Ebis is starving. I don't have food to bring to him. Mm. Yeah, they they butchered the probably the, the guy that butchered the beast just uh, ate it all. So actually left blood all over the place. Yeah, okay, disease. Porcupine has gotten sick from the infection. Sure, I have a medical bed and a doctor. It's about to be medical. No, 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 I can't just. For colonists. Fine, for colonists. For colonists. Um. Yeah, you're screwed, porcupine. <laughs> Lay down and uh, let someone take care of you. Okay, at the very least you're eating the berries now. Okay, uh, let me see. I think it's gray. Let's wait a little bit. I also need to clean up the area. But, oh yeah, she's already doing it. She's already taking care of, taking care of her. Okay. Hey Gray, what are you doing exactly? Oh. Yeah, so they, they are they are actually planting, they, they are harvesting a little bit. This should at the very least keep them alive till they can regular regular regularize the food situation here. <laughs> yeah. That's called desperation, boys and girls. Yes! <laughs> Not easy, is it? Hey, porcupine. No, let's let, leave our lean down. Hey, yay! War. A bunch. Well, there's one guy. So, draft ABs, porcupine can fight, I'm gonna draft you as well. You Rebo, you're drafted. So, ABs, Goshawk, and Rebo. Move, 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 move. Hey guys, aha, uh -huh. you're going to attack. Please follow him, let have him down as soon as possible, okay? Without bruises, because it... Oh god, Rebo's already hurt. Yeah, at the very least we won, I guess. Yes, we won. Still alive? Yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna... Take prisoners in this. You're gonna kill him. Keep at it. Okay, he's dead. Undraft the guys. Good. Now everyone's hurt. I have tons of people. Rebo's hurt. Minor blue loss. Three cuts. A bite. He, the guy actually bit him. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. We survived at the very least. Yeah, someone's taking care of you. Minor break risk. <laughs> Guys, that's life for you. The very least you're, you're gathering food now, so so be thankful that uh, we're planting rice and you you get food somehow. The very least scrapes to get by. 
because it's, it's still not good. I got this blood everywhere. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's a regular experience in real world, apparently. Alright, although I still have stuff laying around here. Yeah. What do we have here? Guinea pigs. Yeah, I wouldn't mess with a bunch of these. Not unarmed as I am. Alright. So. Let me, see, let me see the status of these guys. Uh, okay, you're fine. You're better. Oh, no, you have a major infection. Uh, Activate multiply. Uh, immunity. There's, there's Im this immunity can be 10 to 11 hours, standing expires. That's interesting. She, she has an extreme infection, but the uh, medical emergency. Yeah, the point is that I really can't do much to treat her, I guess. Cannot feed because there's no food. Never to clean yet. Yeah, maybe. Hold on. Okay, clean the blood. Let's let's start like that. Let's just clean the blood. See if porcupine actually gets up at the very least a cleaner area to live in. I don't know if she's gonna make it. Yeah. I, I can't really tend to her. Well, it might be fatal. Stressed, unconscious. Yeah, she's unconscious because of the infection. What are you doing? <laughs> Why did you bring him in here? Get this thing out of here. Visiting the colony, okay. Well, uh, this might work to my benefit here. Trade with Weasel, go. Bye bye, Weasel Trogo. Cave of Spiritism. Berserk. Tanya has gone berserk. She will attack anyone she sees this happen because of Porcupine's death. Okay, Porcupine's gone. Well, and now I have uh, Tanya attacking everyone. While I have visitors, <laughs> funeral opportunity. Yeah, well, uh, everything and, and all of this is because I decided to hunt some uh, lethal bird. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, I have now I, I'm gonna have to organize a funeral. I'm gonna have to try and buy some stuff from. The problem is. Where is she? Oh my god, where is she? Oh, okay, that's bad. She's just by the side of Tanya. I might just... No, this might be an old open build copy. Your colonists are allowed to infect this. I'm gonna shut this door now. Okay, not a good idea. Someone's in there. Rebo's in there. Okay, Rebo. This is bad. Rebo's locked inside with her. He can't run. I, I don't want to kill her. Damn it. I'm going to have to. Unless Rebo can take it. But I doubt it. He's already bit. He has a cracked jaw. Sheesh. He's, he's... Rebo's going to die. If he doesn't attack Tanya, he's going to die. Sorry, Tanya. Really sorry. I don't think Tanya's going to fall now. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, that's bad. So I can buy some pemmicans at the very least. And medicine. <laughs> I guess that's all I can do now. Okay, I'm gonna buy these. Can I pay? I, I can't pay for this, for all this. Um, so I, I, yeah, I have some medicine. Okay. So, I, I have a body of the body of an enemy. Tanya is crazy. Gray, you'd better run. You have a warg trying to kill you. I mean, <laughs> you're screwed. Uh, I can't really pacify or tame her. Oh my god, this is really bad. Let's let's try and move through the rhinoceros. See if at the very least Tanya gets diverted somehow. If Gray doesn't fall because Gray's just crawling around. Did you calm down? No, you didn't. Fine, just run through, the, through this area. Great, keep running. Go! Go, girl! <laughs> okay, she's also down. Mother of God. Okay, let's, let's see. Uh, right now, I just... Um, This is a sad fate of our tribe, and, and, and I think everything's gonna f it's gonna end up because of okay, at very least just fighting a. Oh my god! I actually feel bad for this warg, man. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna follow you around because honestly, what I can do now is just draft these guys, send them inside, and lock them there. See, I can try and rescue. Okay, you can't do anything. Oh god! In shock, did you pay? Can you rescue him? That's my question. Consume him? No, stop that. Cannot sweep Rebo. No, open the fucking door. Sorry. Should have Rescue. Go, 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 go. You just getting get your ass inside here. Go, just go. Mother of God, okay. She she managed to save him, I guess. What exactly are you doing? Uh, Ibis, where are you? Where the hell are you? Jesus, mother of God. Undraft. Yeah, you'd better keep that, uh, that, that, uh, that spear in your hand. I, I need someone to take care of Rebo, man. We'll never do doctoring. Okay, you treat him. We'll never do cleaning. We'll never not assign to doctoring. Oh God, um, doctoring, doctoring, doctoring. You go doctor him now. Go tend to him, man. He's gonna die. You already have one dead graze in the middle of nowhere. Uh, where's Gray? Rescue Gray as well. Go. Okay, the entire tribe was killed because never leave a war. It's just like Game of Thrones, I think. Uh, okay, Tanya's down as well. Where's Tanya? Tanya. Yeah, there's Tanya. <laughs> she actually killed the guinea pig and... and guinea pig and now she's uh wow man okay did you 
treat him. You did. You're treating him. This is a disaster. But it's an interesting story at the very least. <laughs> well, as always, seems just like in Game of Thrones, someone saying the work is no bet. They should be out in the north. They shouldn't be here. Yeah, now I get why. Wargs really shouldn't be here, I mean, but I like the warg. Okay, now, uh, 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 can you rescue her? Because I actually don't want to lose her. I don't want to lose Tanya. Where's Tanya here? Rescue Tanya, yeah, go rescue her. She's not, she, she, she's not, not uh, at fault because of what happened. Go into her no oh. the last event in Tanya's life weasel utilizing her equals had fearfully weasel killed her pierced Tanya in the tail the wild boar skewered Tanya with his tusk piercing her rear and left leg Nira sliced Tanya with an equal's edge, wounding her right eye and right ear. Cut up, cut in right eye. You made Tanya. So yeah, they killed Tanya. Well, I, I can't really blame them. She was just on a rampage. She, she was attacking everyone. I mean, yeah, I kind of get it. I'm not gonna hold that against you. Can't really. She nearly killed the entire tribe, I mean, because Porcupine fell, she actually attacked two of us. Uh, I mean... Okay, let me check, because I, I need to allow this. I need to bury her. Look, I'm just gonna dig a grave here. And... Be done with it, I'm not even gonna... Colin is left them buried, yeah, I know that. So I'm gonna put her, let's put her here. Can't even take too long. I can't really, can I? I <laughs> mean, my friend. Strip, consume, to so strip her. You're not, okay, that's graphical. Whenever do Holland. Well, now Ibis is just alone to do everything, so, yeah. Please, for the love of God, Ibis. Okay. That's a shame. Okay, you're getting the Pemicans that we bought. Should help. You're not supposed to sleep, man. You have to. Okay, so none of the guys that are. This is gonna be bad. Tending to Rebo. Um. Go tend to him. Sorry, but I'm gonna overwork your ass. Who's infected? <laughs> yeah, see? Because he's actually lying by the side of a corpse. No one's gonna haul. <laughs> Please, for the love of God, someone do the hauling. <sighs> You're screwed. You're dead. We're all dead. I mean, I'm gonna lose at very least two more people. One more people. One more person. Rebo's gonna die. He's gonna stay in three here. At the at best, at best, because Rebel, I doubt he will survive. He's too mangled, malnourished, losing blood, and infected. I mean, we should leave this, these barracks and burn them down. This place is cursed, man. <laughs> I'm glad to see that you're um, up and running, but uh, how about you clean up? Oh, you never do cleaning. Uh, 
Yep. Interesting, it all came crashing down when I tried to... What was that, a sacred bird or something? I mean... Hmm. Well, that was an interesting medical treatment needed for, for Rebo. Go treat him. Rebo... Oh yeah, he went already. He already done treating Rebo. Well, let them... Uh, the only thing I can do for now... Okay, Gray. What happened to Gray? She's losing blood. Uh, Ibis, could you please? Well, they say that uh, we have a medical emergency because of severe illness. Best medical treatment possible is just laying around, laying by the side of a corpse till they get better. That's all I can do. Why did they haul this inside here, man? I, why did they haul the guy that they killed inside here? I mean, they should have dumped him. I don't understand why Why they did bring him here. Oh my god, look at this. They're laying on the side of two corpses, two rotting corpses. Man. Really? I mean, really? Well, I think I can do is, is, is I can bring maybe them outside I don't know I'm gonna have to read about it uh, this is a mess this is a complete mess but anyway <laughs> we'll see what to do next <laughs>